Once known for its mysterious walled city and for low-flying planes that roared meters overhead on their way to the old Kai Tak airport, Kowloon City is a neighborhood that has undergone significant changes in the last 30 years, and today it stands as one of the most vibrant hoods in the city. This part of town is refreshingly a little less frenetic than many other neighborhoods, and with the recent extension of the Tun Ma line, is it easier than ever to reach. So, are you looking to escape the hustle and bustle and gorge on excellent international cuisine, whilst exploring breathtaking historical sites and even fitting in a little bit of shopping? Well, you're in the right place, because these are the top five things to do in Kowloon City. One, eat till you drop Thai food. Hey guys, thank you as always for joining me. Kowloon City is one of the most diverse neighborhoods in Hong Kong and is often referred to as Little Thailand because of the influx of Thai Chinese families that migrated to this part of the city during Hong Kong's economic boom of the 1970s. The result is a thriving Thai Chinese community with a plethora of restaurants serving up some of the best Thai food in the city and trying some of that food is an absolute must in these parts. That was not only delicious, but really good value too. And the sheer amount of Thai restaurants along these streets is quite unlike anything I've seen before. I think it's time to walk off all those carbs, and what better place to do so than in one of the most beautiful urban parks in the city. Two, take a stroll through Kowloon Walled City Park. Kowloon Walled City Park has an interesting history to go with its stunning beauty. The Walled City was a fortified garrison for the Qing government's military in the 1800s, but during the 20th century, the area gradually degenerated into an ungoverned lawless slum. During the 1960s and 70s, the population of the Walled City mushroomed, and hundreds of illegally constructed tower blocks sprouted up to house some 40,000 people. At one time, at the most densely populated place on Earth, this hard-to-police concrete maze became synonymous with crime and vice. And in 1993, the Walled City was torn down for good to make way for Kowloon Walled City Park. This park is a great place to relax, replete with serene paths, breathtaking water features and courtyards punctuated by historical relics and exhibitions recounting what everyday life was like in the infamous Walled City. Now let's go from one historical spot to another by paying a visit to the nearby Hao Wong Temple. Three, enjoy a window to the past at Hao Wong Temple. Wow. 
this is Hao Wang Temple, another of the top attractions here in Kowloon City. Now it's thought to be dedicated to Yong Lung Jit, the Marquess who in the 13th century protected the imperial family of the Southern Song Dynasty as they fled here to escape the invading Mongol forces from the north. The exact date of construction of this place is unknown, but it's believed to have been built around 1730. And from the outside, honestly, it looks quite unassuming, just your average nice Hong Kong temple. But it's when you go inside and really take in the intricacies that make this place what it is that you begin to appreciate it. It's also home to a number of historical relics, so let's go in and check it out. All that walking around has aroused my appetite again, so let's go and try another of the foodie musts when visiting Kowloon City. Four, devour a pan-fried beef bun at Islam Food. The brainchild of Mr. Ma, a Shanghai-trained dumpling maker who learned to make curry for his Muslim colleagues while working in Hong Kong in the early 20th century, this eatery has been around in one form or another since the 1950s, and today it stands as one of the benchmarks for halal cuisine in the city. Among the many fusion dishes that are renowned here, it is their pan-fried beef buns for which the restaurant is best known, and these are an absolute must-try for anyone who finds themselves in this hood. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh my, that is so, so good. I don't think I've tried anything quite like that. Look at that. Whatever that is in there, all that beef is just this steamy concoction of juices and it's just oozing about in there. It is absolutely gorgeous. No wonder these guys are an absolute institution in Kowloon City and must have when visiting. All better, nice and clean again. <laughs> We've also got some mud and dumplings, so I'm going to try them and see if they are anything like as good as these. Let's give them a go. Good. Very muttony. <laughs> it's good, quite like lamb. It's really nice and it has a certain Islamic Middle Eastern twist to Chinese food. It's good, really good. Five. Get lost at Kowloon City Wet Market. Wet markets are relatively commonplace in Hong Kong, and a wet market wouldn't necessarily be something you'd expect to see in a neighborhood's top five list. However, this place is a little bit special because with just less than 600 stalls, it is the single biggest wet market in all of Hong Kong. And its sheer size combined with the cultural diversity of the neighborhood means you can find some pretty eclectic ingredients in here. From Southeast Asian herbs and spices to the good old family favorites that you'd find at many a wet market around the city, including choy, vegetables, and meat of many descriptions. And that's why we've put this place on our list, because going in there and taking in the sights, the sounds, and indeed the smells, although not all of them are particularly pleasant, is an experience unto itself. So let's get in there and check it out.
And that concludes our top five things to do in Kowloon City. Do you agree with our lineup? Let us know in the comments. And either way, we hope this video inspires you to explore this incredibly eclectic neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as it will help us a great deal to continue to bring you these videos. And I'll see you again soon on Hong Kong Hoods.